Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I thought I'd go over all my settings on my binds, give you the lowdown on what I use and uh, how I play this game. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. I'll see you guys in the video. All right. So with gameplay, pretty much everything here is default except for CSTS. Uh, to me, I don't think it really matters, but I like CSTS because I thought so. And uh, game stats, display level, I have no stats. These are like the pop-ups, like shot on goal, uh, the clock, like the counting down from 10, all that stuff is there. So those are the only things that I think I have changed. Maybe this, this as well is uh, what I've changed. I have this on, so like if I go into a private match or like team colors, everything is just blue, orange, or whatever colors you have set. Camera. Camera is a little different. These, I believe, are G2 Daniel's old camera settings. I don't know if he still uses these, but the only thing I've tweaked kind of is the transition speed and swivel speed. Those are like a little bit higher. So when my camera, uh, when I go from ball cam to car cam, it's like instant pretty much. There's a little bit of a delay, but that's about it. And demo transition time, I have this at zero because I want an instant I think, yeah, zero for hard cut. So when I get demoed, I'm instantly back to whichever side so I can, you know, see the play faster instead of having the camera drag out. And by the time the camera comes around to whichever side I spawn on, I'm there instead it's right away. So that's kind of the, the meta for that. And now the controls, the binds and all stuff. I'll go for the, over the sensitivities first. These are atomics, <coughs> sorry, atomic sensitivities. Uh, also on G2. I'm a big fan of the G2 boys. I used to have their uh, Beast Mode Daniels. Uh, probably a lot of other pros uh, settings, which is 1.3 and then 05 and then 0.7, I believe, is like what they use or at least used to use. That's what I used to use. So 22, 05, 0.4. Very simple. No controller vibration that kills controllers faster. And I just don't like it ball cam toggle because you got to have it on toggle but the binds the important ones are boost and power slide and air roll i have i don't play claw so i don't use circle for boost i use r1 because it's comfortable and i have my power slide and air roll on the same button because it's easier that way uh l1 so the opposite of the controller use a ps5 controller so if you're on Xbox, I think it's called LB or LB, LB, L2 or LT or something. But yeah, that's that. And then my directionals are right and left. I don't use left that much. I just have it binded when I want to learn it. But other than that, it's just arrow right is square. That's the primary uh, arrow I use with regular arrow, free arrow, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I use every now and then for recoveries and stuff. So yeah. Interface, I'll go over a little extra stuff here. Interface is mainly nameplate scale. I have this at 150. Uh, I like to know when the opponents are going to challenge me. And, you know, sometimes the uh, depth of field, the depth perception, uh, depth, depth perception, forgot how to English, uh, is pretty bad. So I like to see when they're challenging me or if, where they are on the field. Colorblind mode is on, so that's why my colors like my blue team and my orange team might be a little bit differently colored than yours i'm not actually colorblind i just like the way that they look and yeah boost meter color so i don't forget if i have a, a g2 skin or a bds skin uh decal then i know what team i'm on video is this is mainly a pc thing i have none of these ticked on uh it to me it ruins like not ruins but makes the game look nicer which when i'm trying to play like competitively like all that matters kind of is this the fps like higher fps and the your connection to the server so your csts i think it was called in gameplay csts and sts are the main things there but you know uh, high performance high performance just the best performance i can get if I'm going for thumbnails, then I'll change all these to high quality or like the highest quality setting. And then uh, bloom, 
pretty much this is my setup for that but uh yeah audio this really is whatever i don't have any music going i don't have any crowd or ambient voice chat at 60 whenever i use that feature forgot that's in the game and then mastering gameplay i have pretty low mainly because i have a lot of different audio going on usually when i'm playing the game so it's enough to where i can hear the players trying to demo me or boost or whatever uh chat is kind of whatever these are my quick chats <laughs> uh extras we don't care about extras but uh yeah that's that's my whole entire settings we can go over presets as well uh so for my phoenix i use Bach's mod so i don't have any actual like cars that you can see but i have different setups this one is called the daniel fennec daniel fennec is pretty much the sweat fennec uh the drawly fennec which is the pro player drawly obviously got that in blue and orange i have the juicy uh who was on gentle mates i have his orange and blue i thought it looked really cool i have vatira's uh i think this is called dune sweeper so i got the green and i got the pink purple red thing uh and then i have the the mina preset so someone like uh killers or nupo uses these and then i have my esports set up so right now i'm rocking the bds this can switch to any esports skin and then for the octane i have of course the draco skin i really thought it was really cool and then i have my beast mode preset gotta gotta throw the respect to the king and then i have my Reddles neural network which is slightly different it's different on the uh, orange side it's more red and then i have this one which is with the reapers that's the only difference and then I have, of course, my eSport, which right now I'm rocking Space Station. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I got set up. That's what I use. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Maybe you guys want to copy these settings. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. Maybe learn something. Who knows? And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.